When I experience orthostatic hypertension, I go through a, a period where I start to feel faint and dizzy. Uh, my vision starts graying out where things become indistinct. And the longer that I stand, the closer I get to passing out. I went to the mall to buy a Christmas present for my wife. And I was doing fine, and I got in the middle of the store, and all of a sudden my blood pressure started dropping. And there's, as you know, in the mall, there's very little places to sit inside the store, especially during the Christmas season. So I'd have to walk a few feet, bend over, you know, from a brush pressure to go back up and then continue on. And it took me probably 10 minutes to get out of the store back to my car. So that was very difficult. But eventually I went to a doctor who put me on a tilt test. And that's a tilt table where they, they tilt you upright and check your blood pressure, not just when you're sitting down, but when you're standing up and standing up over a certain amount of time. And what they were able to see is there was a progression. When I was sitting down, my blood pressure was perfectly normal. It was actually better than normal. It was 110 over 70. When I would stand up, it would drop to um, about 90 over 60. But then as time went by, three minutes, it would drop down to 80 over 50. After five minutes, it would drop down farther, you know, 70 over 40. And after 10 minutes, it might it'd be to 60 over 40 or, or lower. And I'd you know, be ready to pass out and they'd have to lower me back down. So I came from a background where I did a lot of marathons and triathlons and cycling events. And so I was in fairly good shape. And then when I started having NOH and MSA, it affected that. And it would start to decrease my ability. And, and it went from, a uh, good example is, my son just graduated from college, and so we took him to Europe for a vacation, family vacation. And I had run the Rome Marathon a few years ago. And this time when we went back, I had difficulty walking down one street in Rome. I'd have to stop every few feet and bend over. And so it was quite a change, a dramatic change from a few years ago. At that point, not only my, my sons, but also friends and people I work with were asking, you know, are you okay? You know, do you have this? Do you have that? And so the symptoms were becoming self-evident and the ability to hire it, hide it was becoming uh, harder and harder. And so eventually I had to tell people. If I was to use a single word to describe NOH, it would be dizziness because that's the most immediate feeling that you have when you're experiencing it. As you begin to feel dizzy and lightheaded, uh, your vision starts to black out. Uh, you start hearing tunnel, tunnel sounds in your ears. Uh, so dizziness would be the word. When you're getting dizzy and getting ready to pass out, you think, all right, this is coming from my blood pressure. They'll measure your blood pressure and find out it's normal, 110 over 70. What they don't typically do is measure the blood pressure the way it needs to be measured for NOH, which is to measure it three times. Once when you're sitting, once when you're laying down, and once when you're standing up. That's not something that's normally done by doctors, and it's not something that you know to ask for. And so a lot of times NOH goes undiagnosed because they're measuring you just the normal blood pressure you'd have. <laughs>